So today we're gonna to do a first cook on this Z Grills Backyard Warrior. We're gonna do ribeye steaks, guys, and I know they're gonna be good. video and I'll put a little card to it right here. We took delivery, assembled, and did the first burn-in of this Z Grills Backyard Warrior Wi-Fi Stainless Steel, a beautiful little pellet grill that we were happy to get from Z Grills to test out. And today we're gonna do our very first cook. And to kick that off, we love ribeyes, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. I've always wanted to finish off ribeyes and start to finish, actually, the entire cook on my pellet grill. Now this grill is verifiably able to achieve 500 plus degrees Fahrenheit. So right now it's at 461. It's been about seven or eight minutes since we fired it off. Now you could do it very easily by pressing the power button where it defaults to 275. Or like me, once you turn it on, you go to your app just to make sure it's working and slide that little bar all the way up to 500 degrees, which is the high setting. Now, in just that one minute that I just was talking to you, it's already gone up another 10 degrees, so it's really gonna be able to achieve 500 degrees really quickly. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with how I seasoned up the steaks, but it's our go-to method, salt, pepper, garlic, and maybe a little bit of uh, quality oil as a binder at first, and then we set them out for about a half hour, bring them up to closer to room temperature. But if you want a much more detailed tutorial, just leave a comment down below, tell us what you want, and uh, we'll, we'll see about it. So one thing that I think is essential is to have a cast iron griddle plate to put in your smoker. I think it's uh, at temperature. Okay, it's been about two and a half minutes. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Now, I could just flip them now, but I'm gonna probe that temperature a little bit. They're kind of thin, unexpectedly. Now, that's about 84, 92, 78, so it's a little cool. Okay, it's been about another minute and a half, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a peek underneath. It's not quite where I want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna go about another uh, minute and a half. Okay, it's been another minute here. Let's go ahead and just flip it over now. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, tell me guys, uh, what do you think? Okay, about one minute into that side. What I wanted to do is get my, my butter, avocado oil, garlic mixture and just kind of give it a little bit of a drizzle. Not much, but we just really love that butter, avocado, garlic uh, taste. Back down. Okay, it's been about three minutes total and I want to just check out the temperature, how it's doing. It's, uh, it's getting up there. Now, the big difference here with these steaks is that it's in a smoker here. It's not getting a lot of smoke, so it really doesn't matter what kind of pellets you're using. But it's like an oven, so it's they're actually ready. So what I'm going to do here is get a little bit more butter because we love it. I'm going to flip them. And I'm gonna put some garlic out, kind of roast. We just love this garlic when it's uh, put on the steak like that. All right. And back down. All right, guys. There we go. Look at that beautiful steak. Now, I think it's juicy enough, but uh, you guys haven't lived until you've had a little bit of roasted garlic on your steak. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's beautiful right there. 
All right, guys, but uh, I know what you're waiting for. Now, uh, comment down below, tell me what part of the steak you'd like to eat first. I prefer the spinalis, the tail, I mean, go up, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Now, I wish I could say that there's a perfect recipe for time and temperature and stuff, but this particular cook, since I've never tried it on this uh, Z-Grill Backyard Warrior, um, I kind of went with a little bit of gut instinct and, uh, and a little bit of luck. And um, although it's not crispy, like sometimes uh, me and Sassy like, I think it came out really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right down the middle and take a peek. And there we go, guys. Not bad. Hope you can see that. I think that's a perfect uh, medium, maybe even medium uh, rare, but maybe more on the medium side. It's beautiful. Now, Sassy likes it a little bit more on the well done side, and that's why I'm just okay. doing this one here. We're digging in. Mmm, 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 delicious. Mmm, mmm, that was so good, guys. Mmm. Mm. Mm. so good all right guys thanks for watching a speaking of juicy steak videos i'll leave a link right here go check out my uh latest steak video besides this one and i think you'll be quite surprised we'll see you later